Hello folks, welcome back to National 5 Calculations Type 2. Today we're going to have a look at titrations, the dreaded titration calculation that so many people hate. Um, and I can see why, there's lots of stages to it, but once again, a bit like the previous one, it's, it's not impossible, and once you get the hang of them, they're actually relatively straightforward. Uh, far easier than, for example, an open-ended question, because all information is in the question for you. All you need to know is, can my printer please be quiet? Thank you in the background. Perfect. Um, all you need to do is organise this information. So, what is a titration? At National 5, a titration is basically just a neutralisation. You have an acid or a base uh, in a, a flask at the bottom here. Uh, almost always, this is a very precisely known volume because you've used a pipette to measure it. Um, what you don't usually know is the concentration. So we don't know the concentration of this. And the whole point of doing the titration is to work out that concentration. Because if this is, for example, let's pick a for example here, let's say this is hydrochloric acid. Um, and into that hydrochloric acid, we are then dripping a, a base that we do know the concentration of. So here is my burette, sorry for the terrible drawing. Um, here is my burette, in this burette is their sodium hydroxide. And we know the concentration of this sodium hydroxide. We know it very precisely, in fact, let's make a number up, let's call it 0 0.42 moles per litre. Uh, and of course, because we are the one that's actually working the tap here, we can drip a very precise volume out of this to the nearest drip, in fact. And if there is an indicator in here, we will drip the sodium hydroxide in, it will react with the hydrochloric acid, uh, drip, 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 until the colour just changes. At that point, you know you have added a precise volume, just enough to neutralise all this hydrochloric acid. Um, and the volume, let's make a volume up. Um, let's call it 15.6 um, centimetres cubed. So, how do we go about uh, these calculations? I split my titration calculations up into three stages. Stage number one is all to do with the burette. And stage number one is, I tell you to calculate the moles that you dripped out of your burette. How do we do that? Well, these are all solutions, by the way. There's no mass involved here. So it's the second triangle from the previous uh, video. Uh, so it's moles equals uh, volume times concentration. That's easy. That's ever so slightly tricky because it's got to be in litres. That's stage one. And that will give you a number of moles, in this case, moles of sodium hydroxide. Stage two is to do with the balanced equation. So stage two is all to do with the big numbers in the balanced equation. Use the ratio of the big numbers. Big numbers, by the way, some chemistry teachers are probably swearing at me for calling them big numbers and saying they should be called the proper name, which is the stoichiometric ratio. It's the big numbers. You know what I mean. You have to look at the ratio of the big numbers. And what that will do is it will give you the moles of sodium hydroxide, which you currently know because you just worked it out here. And it will give you the ratio between that and the moles of, in this case, hydrochloric acid. So what does stage two actually do? Stage one calculated the moles that dripped out of here. Stage two if you look at the ratio, it lets you tell how many moles are in the bottom beaker. Almost always a national five, it's one to one. Not necessarily though, it can be one to two or two to one. I think I've even seen once a three to one. So we'll come back to this, make sure you know how to do your ratios properly. Third stage, third and last stage is to do with the bottom beaker. So let's stick with the same color because in the bottom beaker, what we want to know for stage three is the concentration. That's the whole point of this experiment. Concentration equals moles divided by the volume in litres. Uh, now, do we know the moles in the bottom beaker? Yes, because stage two 
told us how many moles of HCl we had. Do we know the volume of the bottom beaker? Yes, we do, because it's mentioned originally in the question. Let's, I, I probably should have put a volume in here, I do apologise. Let's call this, say, 20 centimetres cubed. Let's actually do these three stages for this uh, titration here, guys. So stage one, if I can get my colours right. Stage one um, is volume times concentration. So my volume here was 15.6, uh, got to divide that by a thousand, so that becomes 0 0.0156, that's 15.6 divided by a thousand. Uh, volume times concentration, the concentration is 0.42, times 0.42, gives us a moles of sodium hydroxide, which is... Zero point zero zero six five five two. Let's not do any rounding, not at this point in time, because if you round too early, it gives you an inaccurate calculation. My colour for the second one was brown. So, number two, the balanced equation. Very often the balanced equation is given to you in these days, or alternatively, the earlier part of the question is for you to work out what the balanced equation is. I'm going to cheat with this because I know that the ratio here is just 1 to 1. So the ratio is 1 to 1, which means if you had that number of moles of sodium hydroxide, you have got an identical number of moles of uh, hydrochloric acid. So that means the moles of HCl is 0. 0, 0, 6. I've just realised they've gone off the bottom of the page. Do apologise. Let me fix that for you. Amateur cameraman here. I'm so sorry. 0 0.006552. And then we can do stage 3, um, which is calculating the concentration in the beaker. So the concentration of the hydrochloric acid, concentration of HCl, equals moles of HCl, which we know, we just figured that out there, divided by the volume of the beaker in litres. So the volume of the beaker was, uh, the, sorry, the volume of the liquid, I apologise. The volume of the liquid was 20 centimetres cubed. Divide that by a thousand. Uh, that becomes 0 0.02. So in our case, we've got 0 0.006552 over 0 0.02. Oh, the answer is still there. That's handy. Which gives us a concentration of 0 0.3276. A, at National 5, two significant figures are usually good enough for me. Um, so 0 0.33 in our case. 0 0.33. Now the question would have said, calculate the concentration in moles per litre. Remember I said that in the last video? You almost always, with one exception, don't need to put the units in. So we'll probably just leave that right there. I'm just going to go off and find a real SQA example of this for you folks. Excuse me. <laughs> I just realised I had been drawing on the reverse side of my real SQA example. I do apologise if you can see a faint hint of what I was just showing you a second ago. So we have a we have a titration question here. Um, the average volume, this was following on from a previous one, it's a sodium carbonate and a hydrochloric acid uh, question. And this is asking you the definition of... Uh, a term to do with titration. I'm not going to go into that in this video. This is just the calculations. So let's have a look at the actual calculation stage. Here's the equation for the reaction. Um, and we're looking for the concentration, and again, they say in moles per litre of the hydrochloric acid. In this particular example, in the previous question, they showed you that the burette had the sodium carbonate solution, which I might have to go and look up the concentration of. Um, the average volume of sodium carbonate was 15 mils, so that's how much you dripped out. 15 centimetres cubed, sorry. Um, down the bottom, we had hydrochloric acid. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and look up some numbers from earlier in the question. Excuse me a second. The missing numbers here are the concentration is 1 mole per litre. And the volume in here is 20 centimetres cubed. Um, so let's do our three stages there, guys. Um, stage one was moles that dripped out of the burette. 
So, moles that dripped out the beer is the concentration times the volume. There's the concentration, there's the volume. It's got to be in litres though. So, moles um, of sodium carbonate in this case is uh, 1 times 0 0.015, which is 15 divided by 1000, which of course comes out to be 0 0.015. So that's the moles of sodium carbonate. I said that stage two was looking at the balanced equation, the ratio of the big numbers from the balanced equation. So here's the balanced equation. Let's look at the numbers here. There is an invisible one in chemistry because we're always too lazy to put that there. And two there. So the ratio is one sodium carbonate to two hydrochloric acids. Some people are a wee bit shaky on whether to multiply or divide. If you have a look at these two numbers and figure out where you're starting, we are starting with sodium carbonate here. Now the number for sodium carbonate is lower than the number for hydrochloric acid. This is the larger number. So in this case, we are multiplying to go that direction there. So we would take 0 0.015 and multiply it by two. Which comes out to be 0 0.03, if my mental arithmetic is okay. And that is the moles of a hydrochloric acid in the bottom beaker. And our last calculation stage was the concentration in the bottom beaker. So stage three was the concentration, in this case, of hydrochloric acid. And it's equal to uh, moles over volume, which in our case is 0 0.03. That's the moles we just worked out of hydrochloric acid, divided by the volume in the beaker, which is going to be in litres, 0 0.02. gives us 1.5. So we can simply stop at 1.5. You don't need to go any further than that. If you would like to, you can look back to the unit there, but as I said earlier on, safest thing is if they mention the unit in the question, don't bother, just put a number. Sorry physics people, I can hear you grinding your teeth. And I sort of agree with you on this one, but let's go with the safer option. That's it for titration uh, questions. A very quick recap then. What was a titration, folks? A titration was just a very precisely done uh, reaction where you uh, know the volume and the concentration of one of your chemicals and the other chemical, you only know the volume precisely. The three stages to solving uh, this puzzle and working out the concentration of this is to work out the moles that you dripped out of your burette with volume times concentration. You look at the ratio of the big numbers for the two reactants, and that will tell you from this number of moles will tell you the moles of the other chemical that you had in the bottom beaker. Not quite finished though, because we're normally looking for the concentration in this beaker, not the number of moles. So lastly, the concentration in your beaker is moles divided by volume. You know the moles, you just worked it out. You know the volume, because they tell you in the question. Boom, there's your answer. Three marks. I have seen cases where instead of just being a three mark question like this, they lead you through uh, the calculations effectively one mark for each stage. So don't overthink it. If you see it's worth three marks, you know you've got to do the whole thing all at once. If you see it's worth one, one and one, you know that they've split it up for you. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.